All right, so ZS is a massive gap, beautifully on this 8954, by the way, above the 10 week. So it has to repeat, has to hold here. Let's just see what I got here. 102.77, but the 10 week is even more important. So right now it's gapping and going very, very, very strong. All right, so if you're chasing ZS, First, keep a, a very, very sharp eye on this gap. That's massively bullish, number one. So if it can hold that gap, that's a very, very good sign. 102.77, obviously sitting on the 10-week. Nice scoop pattern, no edge with the... Okay, anyway, it's pushing its head up on 107 if it can get through that. That would be very, very impressive. Um, anyway, Netflix is following through as far as its move. Sitting on support right here, 322 weekly. More importantly, on an hourly, as I mentioned for this chase, it had to stay above 323.82 to make it up to 328.58. We're there. Personally, would not surprise me if it goes a little bit more. Um, might need a little digestion. Yeah, needs needs to get obviously above this 328.58. But Netflix, first thing this morning, seeing that trigger out of the Bollinger Band getting a little bit of rejection right now, VOLQ. In the meantime, in the in-between time, the only chase this morning of, well, at least pattern, size, whatever you want to call it, is obviously very strong. We're into that 330.50 exactly. The next level would be this trend line. I would put it at like 328, 332. But remember, this is hourly resistance we got a trend line here for daily resistance, and we got a trend line here for weekly resistance. This is just daily. This is the weekly from way back in February. So that's going to be resistance. That's all I'm going to say about that. 332.85, 332.72 area. But it's it's absolutely the, um, the chaser this morning. That's working really well, right? ZS. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Stunning. I don't. Didn't expect it, but that's beautiful. Now this looks like it will have some potential energy to move more. Recommended just because it was on literally a trend line. <laughs> so it looked great. Um, and it's guiding or it's bullish for the year. That's great. I think that's probably the uh the the, the luckiest, the luckiest move on Monday. Um, this one was at least a little bit more of a chase breaking above here, right? Tagging that 330.50, holding, but I still wouldn't be surprised if we kind of push a little bit more after digesting. As long as we stay above this 328 and a half, 